Heavy engineer is ready for duty. Problem, sir. Gonna do field. You heard the man, Parker. You designate the targets and I'll keep our people together. Clear out the riverbank first. We're set up for heavy fire support. Target confirmed. Fire. Wilco, <laughs> Iceman heading out with cluster bombs. Copy that. Heading towards target quarters. Just carry the force. Affirmative, sir. Firing. Recovery vehicle here, sir. We are. Let's fix him up right now. Yes, that vehicle is disabled. Ready to repair. Should have been an artillery spotter, Parker. Now let's get this show on the road. Anywhere, sir. Troop carrier waiting Artillery for us. here. Executing order, sir. Ready to repair. Yes, sir. We will do. Repair vehicle is driving, sir. There's the rest of them, Parker. And damn that they are counterattacking. Hit them hard! Heavy artillery barrage inbound. Troop carrier waiting for orders. Driving quickly. Auto ready. Tracks on moving. Artillery barrage during the target area is in dust. Let's fix him up right now. Yes, sir. 
Close call, call, Parker, but we made it. You sure know how to call in fire support. Now we need to get moving to the rally point. Excellent job, gentlemen. Fort Teller is finally safe. Now let's push Ivan back to the ocean. Heavy yacht moving, sir. My! Has anyone seen my friend Corporal Thompson? Hey, you! Have you seen my friend Corporal Thompson? Hey, Hans! Over here! What's up, man? Oh. There you are! I've been looking for your sorry butt all over. Where have you been? You tell me, man. We were driving out of Cascade Falls. Next thing you know, I'm lying on a stretcher. Maddox says I'm gonna be all right, though. Did you hear about Bannon and Charlie Company? Yeah, those poor brave bastards. You need to get off. We're leaving. Hey, thanks for coming to see me, Ed. You! I just wanted that fancy new CD player of yours! Go to hell! I'll be here at the rally, boy! people told me they would sit this one out. That was based on the intelligence that we had at the time, Mr. President. I don't think anyone in this damn government has any intelligence. So they're coming here? What do you propose we do to stop them? We have two options, sir. Pull two divisions from Europe and send them to retake Seattle before the Chinese arrive. But then we lose Europe and the war. In all probability, yes. What's the other option? They wait until the Chinese come ashore and hit them with a B-83 strategic nuclear device. Hit them after they're ashore. Ashore in Seattle. Yes, sir. So, you're suggesting we wipe one of our major cities off the map? It's our cleanest shot to destroy the Chinese, Mr. President. Otherwise, we risk losing everything. <sighs> what forces do we have around Seattle now? A couple of battered battalions. The ones that stopped the Russians at Cascade Falls. But not enough to retake the city. We could order them to try, but I wouldn't get my hopes up, sir. Order those battalions to attack, General. And if they fail, as a last resort, order the nuclear strike. Mr. President, I'm sorry that it's come to this. Sorry. Yeah. That's all, General. As we were catching our collective breath and trying to reorganize, word came down that China had finally entered the war as an ally of the Soviet Union. The Chinese invasion fleet was steaming towards Seattle, planning to use the Russian beachhead to get ashore. The USS Missouri had been sunk a week earlier off the coast of British Columbia, and there wasn't much left of our Pacific fleet to stop the Chinese. So we moved west towards Seattle in the main Soviet defense perimeter. Webb said the men needed to rest for at least a day, but the colonel pushed us on, saying we had to see this thing to the end before it was too late. Later, when we learned about the president's backup plan, we understood why. That will wipe out the entire city. That will be our only option if you fail. Understood, General. We'll do what it takes. Eagle Six out. It's a new war we're fighting, Corporal. I'm not sure I fit in anymore. Sir? Never mind. Get over here. We have to achieve a breakthrough today. The president has ordered a nuclear bomb dropped on Seattle if the Chinese manage to come ashore. In Seattle, sir? It'll make our failure at Cascade Falls look like a Cub Scout picnic. But we didn't fail at Cascade Falls, sir. When I'm forced to sacrifice a company of my men and drop a nuclear weapon on my own country, call it a goddamn failure. I won't let it happen again. Assemble the men. You'll get your orders shortly. Get us to the CP, and step on it! Yes, sir. Webb, I need you to make a frontal assault while Parker flanks around to the south. 
This town is the key to breaking through the Soviet defense perimeter, and we're taking it today come hell or high water! Sir, I'm gonna lose a lot of men on the frontal attack. Maybe if I flanked around to the north. No time for that now, Webb. Commence the attack at once. Sir, I'll send 2nd Platoon across to secure the bridge. Parker, move to the south and secure the Soviet outpost at the church. Expect heavy resistance. Eagle 6 out. Heavy engineers ready for duty. Driving two coordinates. Recovery vehicle here, sir. Armor's ready to go. Ready to repair. This is Webb. I just lost 2nd Platoon and the bridge collapsed in the artillery barrage. Please advise. Over. Take the initiative, dammit! Move your company north and flank around from there! Uh... Roger that, sir. Webb out. Seattle tonight. The Russians sure didn't send any green draftees over here. These units fight like veterans. 